That's <laughs> Um, so if you take a look at all these stalactites, you can see that there's something wrong with a lot of them. Can anyone tell me what is wrong? I got a lot of broken ones. Yes, they are all broken off of the tip. Now a lot of people think that maybe when they first discovered this cave, they took some of those tips of those stalactites as souvenirs. But that is not true because when they went in here, those were already broken off. So then maybe they thought that the explosion that blew open this cave shook this area and all those tips fell off. But we do know that that is also not true. Because when they took pictures of the area inside of this cave, they did not find any rubble on the ground. So that means those two have been broken off recently. So we do have a theory on why those are broken off. And it does have something to do with this structure next to me here. So if you take a quick glance at it, you might think they are stalagmites because they might reach the ceiling. But as you look closer, you can see that some of them are hollow, which means that they are actually stalactites, tight to the ceiling. So that tells us that this used to be on the ceiling somewhere. Now our best guess on where it was on the ceiling is right over here. The two areas of both of the areas are pretty close to each other, so that's what we believe where it was. So now, we do believe that long ago aliens came in here. No. <laughs> it wasn't aliens. We do believe actually that a rush of water came in here a long time ago. And that water was so strong that it ripped this entire piece of stalactites off the ceiling and flipped it over and laid it right here for us to see. And it also, in addition, broke off all the tips of the stalactites. And we also know that this happened a long time ago because we can see that this group of stalactites has a stalagmite growing on top of it. That is not something you see every day. And we like to call this stalagmite poly the parrot because you can see that it has a head, a body, and a tail on its side, which kind of resembles the shape of a parrot. So as we make our way into the next room, I do advise you if you have any uh, purses or backpacks, please take them off and bring it to the front of you. That would be the easiest way to get through this next area. It's a very quick area. It should not take very long to get through. 